Okay, Tuesday at 10 a.m. You'll be there? Okay, bye. Do you have a guy in your life who doesn't put taking care of his health on high priority? My husband's pretty good about it, but I've been asking women how they help their guy keep it on the to-do list. When women and men team up on health issues, the results can be inspiring. There are many ways that we as women can partner with our guys to keep a focus on health. Women I've interviewed recently have shared some of their ideas and strategies. Here goes. I tend to like to grab recipes out of health magazines that are easy and quick that not only I can do, but also the kids or my husband can put together for them. And when I'm shopping, try to make that list and have more of the healthy items that are there for those recipes. In my life, it's my job to make sure all those things are available, grab the fruit, veggies, whatever, have everything cut up, simple things like that. Just doing all the prep work so that my husband can grab his lunch and go to work and not have to worry about packing it and getting maybe getting something that's not as healthy. I think when our team formed, um, we started thinking of it as a social activity and then we kind of got our husbands and children involved and now it's just part of our lifestyle. Again. Well, I, I had one? been a recreational cyclist, my husband and I had cycled together prior to right. having kids. When you are passionate about something, it's easy to stay involved with it, to stay active with it. Recently we were able to have the same doctor and it's absolutely wonderful because I can talk to my doctor about my husband and then he can in turn say the things that I can't say to him that he needs to know about his health. We have computers. A computer sheet reads out exactly what you need to have done and what you've had done recently. Oh. I want to keep my husband healthy because he's in his 70s and I'd like to at least reach our 50th anniversary. Oh, you're doing a good job out there, buddy. When we first were married, he didn't go to the doctor and now he goes on a regular basis thanks to me, <laughs> but he has a really good relationship with our physician. We all go to the same doctor and we have a wonderful relationship with him and that's real important. If there's anybody I can rely on, if there's anybody that's going to you know, pick up the slack for me, it's Connor. And he, he is absolutely um, the, my rock. He's not a stress. He's the, the stress reliever. He actually teaches yoga as well, my oh, husband really? does. So he, he gets to exercise all the time. Oh, so wow. he gets the endorphin release all day long. Um, but fortunately for us, he is actually the one who really opened my eyes. I was diagnosed with Epstein-Barr virus. Did your impetus in taking care of yourself prompt him to do better for himself? Yes. Yeah. yeah. He eats better. He does also exercise. He does yoga. He's very flexible. And so, but I know my exercise is, is getting him to get out the door and do his too. I knew this man and he had just retired. And he was the CEO of some large um, hotel chain. And he said, when he retires, what he wants to do is learn to play an instrument, learn a new language, and learn to paint, because that's what will keep his mind young. When my husband and I were young, we'd go on a vacation and we'd see older people, and that's all they would do would talk about their health. And my husband would say, well, I hope we're never doing that. But, you know, we've changed our minds because it is important to continue talking about your health with your friends, because sometimes you learn something that you didn't know about. Yeah.